What is up guys? Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we have another book box battle and it is going to be between Beacon Book Box and Lit Joy Crates. For those who don't know, these are two of my book box subscriptions and this is the video I do to battle them out to see which box, in my opinion, did better this month. Again, you guys know these videos are just for fun. There really are no losers here, but without further ado, let's battle these boxes. So if you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Okay, first let's go ahead and open Beacon Book Box. It kind of got beat up a little bit on its way to me, but let's do a sneak peek. Ooh, okay, so we have a little note on top. Oh, it looks like I don't have the monthly ornament in this box, but we'll either get it in the March box or they'll send it separately out by itself. That's okay. Things happen. We all understand. And the theme for February was Fighting Fate. Ooh, okay. And spoilers on the back. And right on top we have Bubble Wrap Galore. Okay. We have a ceramic mug and it says, Our lives reflect our hearts. Shelby Murren, if I said that right, probably not. Serpent and Dove Campfire Mug. I don't remember that, but I don't know how many times I have said this now. I adored Serpent and Dove. It has been such a big book lately around the booktube community because it really was such a good book. But I really like the design of this, kind of with that paint splatter effect. And I really like the black rim all the way around. So very cool. Can never have too many coffee mugs, no matter what my husband might say. So yes, great start to the box. Next we have, oh my god, I thought it was a little book at first. It says, this is the least of what I can do, the Cruel Prince. And it kind of looks like a little book, but it has sticky tabs on the inside. Like, how freaking cute is that? This is like the perfect item for somebody who uses a planner or who's a big organizer or who even like tabs their books and stuff, which I don't do. And just the cutest packaging ever. Wow. Next we have, ooh, it is coffee. Oh my gosh, you guys know I am a big coffee drinker. It is Laszlo the Dreamer. Coffee by Caribou, inspired by Strange the Dreamer. Let's take a sniff. Nothing better than the smell of coffee. Ooh. Oh my God, that smells so good. For me, you can never go wrong with coffee. So thank you, Beacon Book Box, for supporting my coffee addiction. <laughs> Next, we have our recipe of the month. Bacon with the Beacons, and it's Elfheim Peanut Butter Bars, and it has a really cool art print on the back. Definitely Cruel Prince vibes. Then we have a card for the photo challenge. And finally, we are to the book with a very heartsy book sleeve. Remember guys, this was for February, the month of love. Let's see what book we got. Ooh, The Queen's Assassin by Melissa de la Cruz. Now that is a cover. Wow. We have a letter from the author, which I always love. And it is signed by the author. Let's see what it looks like without. So just black with gold on the spine. I'm going to read the description real fast. Kaledon Holt is the kingdom's deadliest weapon. No one alive can best him in speed, strength, or brains, which is why he's the Hearthstone's guild's most dangerous member. Cal is also the queen's assassin, bound to her by magic and unable to leave her service until the task she set for him is fulfilled. Shadow of the Honey Glade has been training all her life to join the guild, hoping that one day she'll become an assassin as feared and revered as Cal. But Shadow's mother and aunts expect her to serve the crown as a lady of the Renovian court. When a surprise attack brings Shadow and Cal's together, they're forced to team up as assassin and apprentice, even though Shadow's life 
belongs to the court and cows belongs to the queen. They cannot deny their attraction to each other. But now, with war on the horizon and true love at risk, Shadow and Cal will uncover a shocking web of lies that will change their paths forever. Bound by fate, broken by love. Wow. I cannot wait to read this. Oh, and this was at the bottom of the box. It says, this company started as a dream of a 14-year-old in 2017. Because of the support, love, and your shared passion of reading books, our family business is now celebrating our second year in business. We are so thankful all of you are part of our very special Beacon family. The passion and love for books that Cameron shares with all of you is what continues to drive us to do what we do. We cannot be here without any of you. So as we celebrate our second anniversary, we want to say from our family to all of you, thank you. Oh, two years. That is very cool. Well, yay. Okay. Well, guys, that was everything in the box. As always, you will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Definitely for me, the mug, the coffee, and the little Cruel Prince book are my favorite. This box kind of didn't feel very full. Again, we're missing um, that monthly ornament. And it was the Witcher ornament, which, guys, if you have not watched The Witcher, it is so good. We also got an ebook, Guardian of the... Auras by Victoria ooh, Moshu. It says Furyborn meets a Game of Thrones in this YA high fantasy series inspired by the Greek myths of Pandora's box. Following a young priestess thought to be heartless when speaking her mind and thoughtless when doing what was in her heart. With lyrical prose, shady characters, schemes, and a cliff-hanging finale, Guardians of the Wars promises to give you all the swoons, feels, and chills. So yay, that is awesome. We get two books this month. Ooh, way to spoil us, Beacon Book Box. So really, we got eight items. We're just missing one and then the ebook. Least favorite item? Um, didn't really have one. This was a really strong box. But will it be enough to beat Lit Joy Crate? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's do a sneak peek. Okay, here we go. But the theme for this one was Once Upon a Retelling. And it looks like we have a note from Lit Joy Crate as well. It is also <laughs> missing an item. Looks like we were missing a keychain that'll also be sent out at a later date. Same thing I said for Beacon Book Box, things happen, we always understand. Oh, and they're gonna send a little extra gift for the delay. That's very sweet, Lit Joy Crate, thank you. Okay, oh, well, right on top, I see a hairbrush. And it looks like this is inspired by Tangled. Let me take it out of the plastic. But here's the brush. It is very pretty. And honestly, you can never have too many hairbrushes because um, in my house, they tend to get lost. Where they go, I have no idea. So yeah, very cute. Next, we have a little rumple still skin knife. Is this like a little letter opener or I don't know. What is this? Let me just look at the spoiler card. Oh, it's just a prop. It just says once upon a time bookshelf prop. Okay, so yeah, just something you can put on your bookshelf. I do love once upon a time. That was such a good TV show. Very cool. Rumpelstiltskin was one of my favorite characters. I loved to hate him. He made me so mad, like, ugh. So I guess this is just made out of, um, wood. I honestly wish this would have been like metal or something since it's like an actual prop, something we're going to actually display on our bookshelf um, and have like Rumple Stillskin actually engraved on there. That would have been so freaking cool instead of just a wood that just broke. <sighs> wow. That's why it should have been metal. But, okay. <laughs> Next, it 
it looks like we have a, another puzzle. Don't get me wrong, I love a good puzzle, but they've been including puzzles in a lot of their boxes. At first glance, I thought it was Beauty and the Beast, but I, I don't think so. I think this is, oh, is this Akatar? Beauty and the Beast slash A Court of Thorns and Roses Collector's Puzzle. That is cool. Okay, I'll give it to him. That is cool. That's like the perfect combo for this image. Very, very pretty. And next we have a pin that is very similar to the pin they had in their 7.1 Magical Edition box. And it has a little mermaid that just goes up and down. I don't know what this is based off of. To kill a kingdom floating pen. That's really cool, a nice usable item to have. And as a nurse, we were always trying to find good pens, so I like it. Next, we have the monthly trading cards. Looks like we have Rapunzel and Flynn, Jasmine and Aladdin. And then we have these guys, because I'm blanking on the name. Don't hate me. So yeah, more to add to my collection. The letter to the author. And we are to the book in its little pouch. And the book is Night Spinner by Addie Thorthy. And it says, let the darkness consume her. Ooh, that is very pretty. And it should be signed by the author. And it is. Let's see what it looks like without. So just blue with silver on the spine. And we always have a reversible dust jacket. Let's see, ooh, very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna read the description real fast. The Hunchback of Notre Dame reimagined as Tundra-inspired epic fantasy. Before the massacre of Naren, Inibish was one of the greatest warriors of the Sky King's Imperial Army, a rare and dangerous night spinner blessed with the ability to control the threads of darkness. Now she is known as Inibish the Destroyer, a monster and murderer, banished to a monastery for losing control of her power and annihilating a merchant caravan. Guilt-stricken and scarred, Inibish tries to be grateful for her sanctuary until her adoptive sister, Imperial Army Commander Goa, returns from the war front with a tantalizing offer. If Inibish can capture the notorious criminal Timujin, whose band of rebels has been seizing army supply wagons, not only will her crimes be pardoned, she will be reinstated as a warrior. Inibish eagerly accepts, but as she hunts Timujin across the tundra, she discovers the tides of war have shifted and the supplies he's stealing are the only thing keeping thousands of shepherds from starving. Torn between duty and conscience, Inibish must decide whether to put her trust in the charismatic rebel or her beloved sister. No matter who she chooses, an even greater enemy is advancing, ready to bring the empire to its knees. That sounds really good. I like the magic part of it. The war part, not so much. Maybe a little romance in there. I don't know, but that sounds very intriguing. But guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. I think we hit most of it though. We had the Rapunzel and Crest inspired hairbrush, the To Kill a Kingdom floating pin, the Emma and Clueless inspired keychain, which was the missing item, the Once Upon a Time bookshelf prop, then the puzzle, and then we had the optional add-ons. So guys, to be completely honest, I have completely unsubscribed from Lit Joy Crate. I was just skipping months, but I um, kept forgetting to skip, and that's honestly why I got this box, because I forgot to skip from it. But then we had the photo challenge, and the March theme was ride or die, but yeah, I unsubscribed. So yeah, that was the February box. As always, you guys will have to tell me what was your favorite item, least favorite. Well, my least favorite item should be a little obvious. It was a very good idea. I just don't think the execution was there. When I first saw it, I honestly thought it was on cardboard instead of wood. Obviously, it wasn't very sturdy, wasn't made very well. Again, I just wish it would have been executed in a different way. I'm sure it's not easy to include like a dagger type of product <laughs> in a subscription box. But yeah, definitely 
Definitely not my favorite item. Rumble Stillskin, he would have cursed you for that one. Um, <laughs> so yeah, out of the other three products in the box, the hairbrush, it's it's good quality. The design of it, it kind of seems like it's geared more toward a younger audience. So yeah, I definitely think this will be a hairbrush I use for my daughter. So it's not my favorite item, but I mean, it's it's a hairbrush, so we all need hairbrushes. Well, most most everybody needs hairbrushes. <laughs> I did like the pen. Again, it's it's a pen. We all use pens. <laughs> now the puzzle, I do kind of have mixed feelings about because the picture is absolutely gorgeous. Like, wow. And that was done by Rosie Thorns. But this will be my fourth puzzle from LitJoy Crates. And as you can see, I have not done any of them. And like I said earlier, it's not that I don't like puzzles, but I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old, and I don't have like a designated space that they won't get to and destroy any progress that I do. And I don't have time to actually sit down and put a puzzle together. So these are kind of just piling up now. Uh, two of them are Harry Potter ones and I really liked them and one was kind of based off the love of libraries and stuff So I have loved the theme and like the pictures on all of these I just don't know when I'll ever actually put them together or ever be able to do them So yes, that's the mixed feelings of these puzzles <laughs> So I really don't know my favorite item out of the four items we got from lit joy crate uh Maybe the pen or the puzzle. I guess the pen doesn't really have any negative to it, but the puzzle is just, just gorgeous. Even though I don't know when I'll get to it, if ever, it's just gorgeous. Like, just gorgeous. But wow, I really hope Lit Joy Crate takes a break from puzzles for a while. <laughs> Uh, but as always, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. But now, it is time to announce which box won this battle. I kind of feel like this one is a little obvious, but the winner is... Beacon Book Box. And it's not just because of the coffee, but, I mean, they had coffee, guys. Coffee. And a mug for me to drink it in. But yeah, their box was absolutely amazing loved it and again congratulations on two years guys that is awesome i foresee many many more years in y'all's future but as always let me know do you agree with my decision or do you think litro crate should have won let me know in the comments down below and as always thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hey welcome feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of harry potter lovers and bookworms and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. I'm so glad. Train. The Cruel Prince. <sighs> Names. Kaladin. Wormy Wormies. Rumple Still. Rumple That was that. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, why am I blinking? Unbo- ugh. Which is kind of tricky because it can play to my nostalgia or it can be totally veered toward my kids. Thorthy? Mm.